हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वी एस बिलसरे फ्रॉम डिग्री कॉलेज ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पी जी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन दी से पिंटीएम आर्किटेक्चर यू नो दैट इट इज द वन ऑफ द एडवांस प्रोसेसर एंड द मोस्ट ऑफ द आर्किटेक्चरल फीचर important architectural features that we have to discuss today and the say uh, advanced features are included like a super scalar architecture some cache memory some branch prediction unit paging unit those are the essential component of the today's advanced microprocessor uh, listen here right from the say left hand side of this slide here it is the paging unit it is one of the important feature of the advanced processor it is the built in feature of the advanced processor paging unit is here it is the incorporated inside the processor itself it consist of the buses are shown here address bus and data bus pentium architecture consist of the say uh, 32 bit address bus and because of that one it can address to 2 raised to the power 32 equals to 4 gigabyte of the physical memory directly addition to this one it consists of the 64 bit the address bus it can transfer the 64 bit data in parallel mode listen here it is the say uh, on the top side of this slide there is a one block is shown that is the 8 kilobyte of the instruction cache and the tlb now it is the cache memory here inside the pentium processor there are the two types of the cache one is called as the data cache another one is called as the instruction cache and it is the important feature of the advanced processor the cache memory it is the alternative to the ram memory ram is available okay but what happens here the say it is the as the external ram introduces the delayed into loading the data as well as the loading the instruction and that's why the say fabricated built in built in cache memory is available pentium consist of the 8 kilobyte of the instruction cache and uh, again uh, 8 kilobyte of the data cache now the addition to this one there is a tlb translate look aside buffer it plays a very important role here it is also inside the data cache also the translate look aside buffer we will discuss the translate tl of the function of the tlb along with the branch prediction or the say branch target buffer listen here it is the 256 are shown what happens here inside the processor as there are the two pipeline u pipe and the v pipe that's why what it required the simultaneously the two instructions are executed by the microprocessor it is called as the dual core processor okay and that's why the what it required the continuous feeding it required that's why the say 32 bytes are fed at a time that will be get provided for the execution inside the pentium processor it consists of the prefetch buffer the at a time 32 byte are transferred inside the prefetch buffer that's why the now the processor are ready to provide the feeding to the u pipe and the v pipe and the it 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 it, it, it successfully shows the say execute uh, uh, say super scalar function listen addition to this one it consists of the instruction decoder after feeding the instruction it will be decoded here and then the control rom is available inside the processor what happens here the controlling the processor operation pentium processor operation the one of the inbuilt program the, that is the eprom you know that the function of the eprom the control program monitor program driver program ma, they are stored inside the that eprom what happens here the inside the processor as the page to control control the operation of the paging unit control the operation of the pipeline it required the say control program inside the control rom it store the predefined program for controlling the say functioning of the pentium processor now uh, say at the lower side of the slide here it is the say two pipelines are shown it consists of the two pipes 
that is the u pipe and the v pipe it is the dual core processor it can simultaneously execute the two instructions at a time listen here the say uh, here it is the 32 bit uh, u pipe is available 32 bit v pipes are available now the two instructions are get executed simultaneously you know that the superscalar architecture or the superscalar feature of the pentium architecture now listen there is a say um, there might be the hazard problem you already aware about the hazard problem the hazard problems are solved data dependency hazard instruction dependency hazard that's why the to avoid the problem of the hazard independent instructions are provided to the two pipes that's why the the problem of the hazards are get solved it consists of the say address generate u pipe address generate v pipe now the instructions are available inside the microprocessor it requires the data to be read from the ram and for that purpose the the uh, data to be get decoded to load the data for the performing the operation most of the instructions we are writing inside the program to process the data our instructions are 99 percent instructions are related to process the data and that's why the data to be get provided while executing the program instruction now the integer register file you know that the programming model of the any microprocessor it consists of the so many instructions general purpose sorry so many registers general purpose register pointer register segment register data register okay and the say it required the that register set is required to execute the program instruction inside the u pipe again the same register set is uh, made available to in execute the instruction inside the v pipe and that's why the separate uh, uh, register that is also called as the programming model programming model it is nothing but the array of the register set of the register but detail about the programs are stored inside the that register meaning is that the say co segment um, segment uh, address uh, sorry segment register store the address of the instruction to be executed again the say data data segment address are stored in, inside the data segment register stack, stack segment register store the say starting address of the stack as well as the stack pointer store the current stack address as such meaning is that the entire detail of the program that the microprocessor currently executing are stored inside the uh, register sets that's why it is called as the programming model of the say a uh, particular program that the microprocessor is currently executing addition to this one it consists of the alu arithmetic and logical unit for the say u pipe and arithmetic and logical unit for the v pipe and last one is the barrel shifter what happens here the programs are proceed further for the say execution executions that the particular program uh, instructions are get executed into the say five different step load the instruction decode the instruction read the input execute the instruction and then the write back result are write back into the ram after executing the program instruction what happens here the after executing the program instruction from the say both the pipes the result are stored back into the say one of the data cache inside the data cache it consists of the 8 pentium processor pentium 4 processor consists of the 8 kilobyte of the data cache and then the addition to this one the tlb one of the memory is reserved cache memory is reserved to store the say uh, uh, for the storing the address i will explain the importance of the tlb uh, at the right hand side there is a floating point unit okay it is also called as the fp unit it is the coprocessor okay you know that the importance of the coprocessor entire the entire system consists of the so many type of the coprocessor coprocessor and the main processor okay it is to release the burden of the microprocessor main processor main processor perform the execution no doubt but the some of the instruction statistical coprocessor math coprocessor fp unit here it consists of the additional floating point unit to solve the say float operation and those are the u and v pipes are referred to as a integer pipeline and it consists of one of the additional pipeline okay that is called as the floating point uh, uh, unit it consists of the one pipe 
okay that is referred as the u pipe again it consists of the it perform the so many arithmetic and logical operation okay but the precision is up to 80 bit you know that the integer is the 16 bit character is the 8 bit again long int is the 60 uh, 32 bit again the 64 bit but the here it is the say float uh, float uh, uh, data it refer it process 80 bit precision okay that means the you are generally refer as a double long double or the say simply the double okay uh, the result are stored back inside the data cache and it will be made available on the data bus to transfer the data inside the ram now listen addition to this one the say one of the additional section is available and that's why we are we are calling the microprocessor as a intelligent microprocessor it is said to be the today's microprocessor are the intelligent one okay what makes that microprocessor intelligent okay paging unit is the fabricated unit one of the say cache cache memory additional cache memory is fabricated inside the processor now the addition to this one one of the very important feature is available inside the pentium which makes the pentium as a one of the intelligent processor what happens here the it consists of the barrel target buffer one of the say functional block is available here it is shown as a prefetch address instruction pointer branch target address and it is completely related with the tlb here are also it is completely related with the tlb okay it is the one of the very important function of the processor my pentium processor is to say educated guess educated guess in sense the what instructions are frequently required to be get executed inside the program frequent instruction in sense the our program consists of the branch instruction our program consists of the looping type of the instruction our program consists of the subroutines some subroutines which are required to be called frequently inside the program okay what happens here the one of the very important function is to convert the logical address to physical address what it mean by the logical address and what is mean by the physical address okay you know that you already studied the address mapping address mapping memory mapping memory mapping and address mapping what it means each and every system consists of the ram memory okay and the for the multi programming purpose multi user purpose ram memory is partitioned into the segment different segment or the the virtual memory when referred it uses the say virtual memory or the secondary storage devices is used as a main memory when the ram is indeficient okay now listen what happens here whenever the each and every is to be get executed while executing the instruction or while referring the data the microprocessor refer the data using the say physical address meaning is that the memory are get referred uh, using the physical address Lo concept of the logical address it is for the user purpose meaning is that the memory is partition partitions are allocated to the user partition consists of the segment address as well as the offset address okay what happens here the on combining the offset and the say offset and the segment address say actually the physical address are designed it is called as the logical to physical conversion segmentation have its own process to convert the logical to physical address paging mechanism consists of the its own process to convert the logical and physical address and then the say what it requires it takes a time each and every time instruction to be executed it required to convert the instruction will be loaded from the main memory it required to convert the logical to physical whenever the data to be load inside the main memory uh, sorry microprocessor from the main memory it required to convert the logical to physical those instructions which are frequently repeatedly used inside the microprocessor for execution purpose each and every time naturally each and every time it required to convert the logical to physical to save the time of the microprocessor to convert the logical to physical each and every time when the instructions are repeatedly recalled or the called inside the microprocessor one of the say tlb is maintained tlb stand for the translate look aside buffer it is just like a uh, say price list the my uh, shopkeeper maintaining the price list lic agent maintaining the uh, table lic table premium table as such okay microprocessor itself for refer the tlb translate look aside buffer once the instruction it is the educated guess of the microprocessor microprocessor identifies that the which instructions are repeatedly required and it maintain the one table 
and that convert the logical to physical address conversion process it perform once and the say corresponding logical to physical address are stored inside the TLB translate look aside the buffer for the instruction also as well as for the data also inside the data cache of the TLB and that is why the today's advanced microprocessor are called as the say uh, intelligent microprocessor ok and here it, uh, it is about the uh, our session has been ends regarding the Pentium microprocessor. Uh, thank you friends for watching the video. Um, Thank you very much.